sun. Do you love the sun? Yeah, it's pretty cold in here, huh? Oh, okay. Good morning. So last night the Cubs won and we're tied one to one with the Indians and I was screaming at my TV basically all night. I loved the game. I just, I don't know, the last couple of weeks have just been so exciting. It's just so much fun. Um, but I think I told you guys that we had thought about maybe going to Wrigleyville. I mean, did I really think about it? Maybe for a second, but I don't like crowds as you guys know. I just don't like big crowds like that, like crazy crowds. Um, and now Wrigleyville, a lot of the bars are charging cover fees and it's not even like, it's not like 10 bucks, 20 bucks. I mean, it's like $250 to get into these bars to watch the game. So I'm like, even if we went there, we'd have to just like walk on the streets and hopefully hear something, you know? So it's not really worth it. And to be honest with you, I prefer to watch the game. If I'm actually watching a game, I prefer to watch it at my house because I actually pay attention more. I mean, when I'm at the games, I just kind of am looking everywhere and, you know, seeing what's going on around me rather than actually watching the game. So I think it's just better to stay home. But I do have some friends that are going up there. I do know somebody that is going to the game, which is pretty exciting. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, just having this all in our area is, like, really cool and then to be to actually be a Cubs fan on top of it is the coolest thing so it's very very exciting but uh anyways enough Cubs right are you guys sick of me yet with that <laughs> uh I am headed out the door now to go to Yo Amazing we had our front freezer uh we just keep like doggy yogurt in it and stuff it went down last night and actually Alex caught it before it got really bad. He like, he always looks at the temperatures and everything, but he saw that right before he was leaving work that it, it was at like 40 degrees. So he was like, okay, well I'm just going to move everything to the back and let it thaw overnight and then I'll try to restart it this morning. Well, it wouldn't restart this morning. So I'm going to Yo Amazing now. We're going to let the repair guy in and talk to him and see what, like what the actual issue is. If we need to get a new freezer or if he, freezer or if he can fix it so yeah that's what's going on now so I'm headed out there now I'm gonna come home later and I got to clear off my laptop because it's completely full and I need to be able to add things to it so I don't know if I'm just gonna put a bunch of stuff on the external hard drive and then you know just kind of reboot everything and completely restart I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but I have to do that I might binge watch a little bit of Gilmore Girls because I watched one episode with Alex the other night and I loved it and now I'm like okay well if it's kind of a gloomy day outside like it is maybe I can binge watch a couple of episodes so yeah that's my plan for the day hopefully it doesn't take too long at Yo Amazing I'm assuming it's gonna take at least an hour or so but uh yeah hopefully it doesn't take all day Are you falling asleep? <laughs> Are you falling asleep, sweetie? Ooh, we gotta get them boogies. We gotta get those boogies. Yeah, we do. It's all right. It's really not that big of a deal because we have plenty of room back here in this freezer. So we should be all right for the next few days, but it's always something, always something. We're packed tight. We got our doggy yogurt, our coconut. This is a uh, coconut milk yogurt. It's not really yogurt though. It's, it's basically just coconut milk uh, and it's frozen. And when we put it into the machines, then we have all of our other flavors. Alex says it's green beans there. Got it all. This is what a pet tight freezer looks like at Yo Amazing. I'm about to take some of these strawberries home because they look so good. I'm surprised they look so good this time of year. I'm excited. I just went and got my brows done because I needed them done so bad. I don't know, I might have to clean them up a little bit more, but she did a pretty good job. They're way better than they were because they were the struggle as usual. Here's my lunch. I made a little burrito bowl. I actually, I don't know if you can tell, but there's lettuce on the bottom. You can see it a little bit right there. Um, and then I use cauliflower crumbles as my rice. And then I have some spicy guac, some Greek yogurt, 
that I'm using is like sour cream, chicken, a little bit of cabbage in with the uh, lettuce, and then some salsa. And I'm just going to mix it all up and eat it, you know, kind of like a chipotle burrito bowl. I actually might add some kind of cheese. I'll see if I have any. If not, honestly, it's going to be really good without it, I think. So this is the first time doing a burrito bowl with the cauliflower crumbles, but... I figured why not let's just try it out I just toasted them up on the stove real quick I actually didn't even I just added a tiny bit of uh, olive oil but I didn't add any seasoning or anything so hopefully it's good I've spent the last I don't know hour or more putting everything from my laptop onto this external hard drive uh, and I think I got a lot of it not all of it yet but I'll get it all on there soon and then I can just completely wipe out my MacBook and start over with it because it's just so full and there's so much on it so yeah but I just got this this is like a one terabyte hard drive and I got it on Amazon I'll try to find it and link it below for you guys but I got it like I don't know late last year so um i don't know if they still have the same one but it was a really good deal for what it is so yeah uh now i'm actually gonna see if my sister and my cousin can get on a call really quick we are trying to figure out a europe trip for next year so we're gonna go talk about that and then uh yeah i'm not really sure i'll just wait for alex to get home and see what we're gonna do okay give me the ball give me the ball come on hey Okay, you ready? Here we go, ready? <laughs> Come on! Good girly. So I just got off the call with my cousin and sister and it was awesome. We are just wondering if any of you guys have been to Europe or you live in Europe, where do you recommend to go? We definitely want to go to Italy and we think we want to go to France as well. I mean, I really want to go to Greece, but I don't know if that'll just be a whole separate trip. Uh, we're thinking Switzerland. Just let us know if you have any recommendations as to where to go and how to travel there. Like, did you get a travel agent or did you do like a deal from Groupon or like Costco travel or any anything that's kind of like all in my camera just died and I had to get another battery but basically I was saying if you have any ideas as to things that are all-inclusive like different trips for Europe that are all-inclusive you know that include airfare and different hotel ideas at least at least ideas because we don't we don't know where to stay there you know so if you have any ideas please let me know we're looking for three to four people I'm hoping four people because I would much rather if I'm doing a trip like this I really want to do it with Alex as well it's just so hard for me and him to both be gone from Yo Amazing at once. So we'd have to figure that out, but we do have a lot a lot of time to figure that out. So my mom even said she would help us out if we need her. Um, but yeah, so if you have any ideas, leave me a comment down below letting me know travel ideas or just like where you would go if you were going to Europe or where you've been, if you've been there. I would love any ideas that you guys have. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the love on this video so far. I just posted it tonight and there's already been so many awesome comments and I just know that we're all in this together. So I just wanted to say thank you guys and I love you so much and please keep leaving comments and leaving your stories and I will read all of them and try to respond to all of them very, very soon. So I got this mask at Ulta. It's like a illuminating mask and I'm going to try it out tonight. I'm just gonna take my makeup off, hop in the shower and then I'm gonna actually do this after the shower because my pores will be open and it'll be really good. So I'll let you guys know how it is. So this looks freaky, there's no doubt about that, but it's like really wet, which a lot of face masks, I mean they have a lot of product on them, but this one has a lot, like more than usual, and I like that, so we'll see how it looks when I'm done. It says to leave it on for 20 or 30 minutes. Okay, so I did it for like 30 minutes, and this is what my face looks like now. I mean, I guess I won't know for sure until the morning, like how much it did help with brightness and all that, so we'll see, but I really like this. I think it was only three or four dollars from Ulta, so it's cheaper than like the Sephora sheet mask, so that's a good option. I'll link it down below for you guys if I find it cheaper online somewhere, like Amazon or um, I don't know, anywhere else, I'll definitely let you guys know.
But anyways, I'm gonna go watch a couple of YouTube videos. I think I'm gonna watch them on my TV and then I'm gonna head to bed. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Go Cubs, go!